Hey guys. Okay, so I've been working on a lot of crochet projects and I did two scarves. I actually need to buy another skein for one scarf to continue it. I am working on this scarf here, which is going to turn into like a scarf slash poncho type looking thing, I hope. And then I have this one here that's not going so well. I'm going to keep going though. I'm going to keep trying. It's supposed to lay flat and it, that's supposed to go on your back and then I'm making sleep. I don't know. It's not working. So anyways, I'm feeling a little frustrated and thought, you know what? I need to do a paper project. So I put together this album um, throughout the day, working on it off and on. And it's going to be a six by six album. It has six pages. And I think I'm going to do Halloween. So my paper cracked just a little bit on the side and it was irritating me. So I put these cute little ruffly flowers on there and it covers it up really nice. Can't even, I can't even tell where the crack is. But I thought I would craft with you guys as I go. So I'll show you what I've got to work with here. I have a little bit of Halloween. I don't have a lot. Um, but I have this little packet that um, Becky from um, Aunt Bex Creation sent me a while ago. I have a couple of stickers from last year. I have this um, half-used paper pad, I think also, yeah, from last year when I was making the little Hershey Kiss Nugget thingies. Um, and this is called Haunted by My Mind's Eye. I have this one from Recollections, also last year. I'll just do a real quick clip there. I'm sure you guys remember all of these. Um, but I'm, th I'm thinking of actually using that one as the cover. I think that would be really cool. And then I'm uh, Be Glad to Live in a World Where There Are Octobers. That one's Hocus Pocus. That one seems really cool, but it's more of a 12 by 12 type layout. I don't know how to use these, the big, huge focal points, because I don't know where to put the pictures and a couple of scraps there. And then I also have my um, Close to My Heart. Now this is not available anymore. This is last year's kit. And this is called Nevermore. Um, this year's is called Jeepers Creepers, and it's super cute. I think I'm going to get it as well. And in this kit, I got six sheets of design paper. I can pull them all out. So, and then these three are just, if you see, wait a minute. I'm confusing myself. I know that there are, are there no duplicates? Those two are duplicates. Hmm. I thought they were, okay, wait, these two are the same. I'm confusing myself. So then these two must be the same. Yeah. So figure I can get a couple sheets out of that, used out of that, and then I think I'm going to use um, the purple and orange and the gray. I, I need to see if I have a green because I want to do the orange, purple, and green type theme. Even though now that I'm looking at it, I don't really have a lot of green papers, do I? So maybe orange, purple, and gray should be my theme. Hmm. I'll have to research that a little bit. I don't have any anything green in here now that I look at it. This year's does. I think that's why I was thinking of it. Um, but anyway, so I have those. And then the compliments that came with the kit, which I think are going to be really cute to use. And this comes with a bunch of um, craft pieces and acetate pieces. And then a couple of different flares and some cute little stickers that I can use to embellish and decorate. So, and for me, laying down the paper is the easiest part. The embellishing and decorating for me, believe it or not, is the challenging part. So, that's always the hardest part because I never know, does it look okay? Did I overdo it? Did I underdo it? Let me find that sheet that I'm going to use for my cover here. And my cover is um, six and a half by six and a half. Just in case any, anyone's wondering, because I, I think I am going to plan on selling this one. So, let's see here. Can I cut this one down? Oh, yeah, perfect. I don't know why it's warped. It's weird. Okay, so I'm going to go. 
six and where am I at? One, three, five, eight. Cuts off the top of that glitter, but that's okay. Well, actually, let me cut off a little. I want to cut off towards the pumpkin here. Let me cut that strip off, and then we're going from there. And I, I have a love-hate relationship with this trimmer. Because once you hit hit the uh, six and like three eighths, there's no mark there, so it's hard for me to tell where I'm going. So I try to line it up with this and uh, work from there. What, what do you need this? Which one? Do you want some eyebrows? Oh, this one. Okay. Sorry, guys. No, nope, look down at me. Look down at me. No, nope, you gotta look down at me. Okay, look towards the bed. Tilt your head up. Yeah, tilt your head straight up. You're silly. There. Okay. Good night. Good night. Okay. Oh, you know what? I need to get my black. Reach without reaching. Okay. I want to get my black set out. And my little scrubber thingy. Two seconds. My son is out there playing a shoot 'em up game, so. Okay. Oh, good. Scarlet's eyes been irritating her. It's allergy season, so. Put a couple eye drops in her eye, she'll be all right. Okay, so I think this is gonna look good for the cover. And I think I might actually need to trim it down just a hair, because the flowers are in the way. So I'm gonna come over here and trim it off the side. Let's see how that looks. Better. Whoops. Okay, like that. So I'm good there. And that will not fit on there. It's gonna do the script on the back, but it won't work. So it's all good, it's all good. Toss those guys, save these scraps. Is there a scrap in here that I would like to use for the back? Maybe I'll just use this one. I like the little pumpkin. Okay, so let me scoot over a little, buddy. So, I know for me, I like watching people's thinking process when it comes to making mini albums. So, I thought I'd come hang out with you guys. And I'm going to take this and scoot it over just a uh, Yes, Miss Scarlet? I have a little bit of problem. My, what? My stomach really hurts. Did you go potty? Um, I'm not sure. I'm okay. Do, I don't know what I have to do. Sorry, she's having mommy attachment issues. Every five minutes she has to come in here and give me an excuse as to why she's in here. <laughs> Instead of in bed. Okay. And I like that. I like how you can kind of see the netting on the side. Oh, wait. Can you guys see the netting kind of from the side from the mesh on the flowers? I like how you can see that. Okay. So I'm sticking with that. So let me figure out what I'm doing for my insides. I try to do my covers outside and inside this at the same time because I cut those the same size. Try to make it a little less confusing. Oh, that one's cute. So there's one. That's a cute one. And we can do this one for the inside. I'll do this one. Hang out over here, little buddy. 
Oh no, it's going to be too long, isn't it? Okay, how can I do this? No, I'm not going to be able to make it with that. I'm cutting out the word Halloween or cutting out the whole tree, so let me figure out something else. What else do I have? You know what? I think this will be a good last page. Maybe I can get it out of there. Okay, so let's try this one. Whoops. Okay, and this way. Can I help you, sir? Oh. Apparently my children were not ready for bed when I sent them to bed. So I apologize now for all the interruptions. Okay. Good night. Good night. There's my son. Nobody understands that when the doors close, that means don't come in. Nobody seems to understand that. Anybody else have that problem? People just barge right in? Like they live here or something? <laughs> this is the real reason why I can never make a professional video. Too many interruptions. Life happens. Okay. I think because these have like all the embossing on them, they're like warped. Kind of don't like that. But we make it work. Okay, so let me, let me just check my sizing here. I like this one on the side before I completely put my trimmer away. Okay, that looks good. For some reason, my pages are never exactly the same, so it throws me off. And that one looks good. Okay, so I'm going to go through and I'm going to edge all of my pieces here. And I think actually I might distress the cover page. I think I want it kind of looking all messed up. I think. I have to remember where I put my distress tool first. It might be of some importance. Where did I put that thing? Hmm. Don't you hate when you know you have something but you can't remember where you put it? It kind of stinks. I think it's over here in my little Sharpie container. Good night, babe. Close the door behind you, please. Okay. Well, you got to give your tummy time to settle. You want another one of those pink tablets? Did that help you last time? Upset tummy. Let's see here. You guys are probably going to get a body shot. I apologize in advance. There we go. Ooh, that didn't take too long. Thank goodness. All right. Big old belly shot. Sorry, guys. Life is a mommy. Right? Okay, close my bedroom door behind you, please. Okay. 
once she realizes I'm making a video, she has to do everything she can to be on it. So she's probably going to come in here again, just so you guys have a heads up. She just likes it when I play the video back and she hears her own voice. Which is so funny because I listen back to my videos and I'm like, <laughs> I hate listening to myself. if I want to tear it somewhere. Not very good at this. I have a lot of experience with it. So I'm thinking that I want to tear just a little bit of it. And actually, you know what? I don't even think I need to tear it. I think what I want to do is make a little slit in it. And possibly add I have anything in this one really. I'm trying to see what I've got in here. I know I have most of my rosettes in here. Actually, no. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to add lace. I'm going to add gauze. Yeah, I think I want to add some of this behind it. Okay, so to figure out where I want to tear it, maybe just right at the top. I think I'm going to cut it a little bit longer. Never done this before. Let's see that line. You kind of look like a t shirt collar or whatever it's called. Okay, I have seen some people to make this easier. Whoop, wet the paper. Oh yeah, that's so much easier. Oh, it's tearing. All good, all good, don't panic. Tore right there, but that's okay. Just adds to the character. And let me dry that so it stays in place. And that that looks kind of cool and then just add this bam right behind it oh I love it probably gonna have to pop up my um my page which is okay I think whoops let's not stab myself with those those are extremely sharp Oh, that looks kind of cool. I kind of like it. Okay. So there's that. And let me get some ba -ba -ba score tape. And I think of what I was using. And 
actually I just put it over there. See, it throws me off when I do something new. I don't know how to... <laughs> it confuses me. But I like the way it looks, so that's a good thing. Okay, do a run of this. Anything out over there. Push all this out. Push all this down. Bust out my glue here in just a second. I don't know why I did that, but that's okay. It is definitely cooling off here in AZ, thank goodness. I what I was going to do if the heat was going to stay. I have a love-hate relationship with glue. I hate the fact that you can feel it underneath paper. So hopefully this paper is thick enough that I won't... Oh yeah, don't drop it. Try to stick my glue down first. But what, child of mine? This is so hard to let it go. Okay, you've got to let the medicine have time to do its work. Go to bed. <laughs> it's going to be one of those nights. Close my door, please. Of course, hubby's out there just playing a game, chilling. She walks right past him to come here. Isn't that awesome how that works? I think mommies are just better at fixing things when it comes to the kids, especially when they don't feel good. Hold this down for just a few seconds. Uh, I'm hoping that I'll go through the mesh or the gauze or whatever it's called and hold it down. I'll keep an eye on that. And let me get. This one is my back page. I have to size them out. Okay. And this guy. I really wish I had ordered thicker score tape. It's okay. Work with what we've got, right? Right. I just needed to do something. I'm going cross-eyed trying to do these patterns. I've never done before. The one's not working. That circular, it was supposed to be like a boho sweater thing. I don't know. I think my tension is just off or something. I don't know what I'm doing. But it's too bunched. And when I watched the video, hers lays flat, so I definitely did something oopsie along the way. I just don't know what I did. So I'm trying to find, so if you guys know any good crochet um, websites to where I can get patterns, let me know. Because that's kind of the theme this year for Christmas. Well, for the women anyway. And I think for our cousin, I don't know if he plays piano though, I should probably find out. I found a really cool scarf that looks like a keys on a piano. I really want to make it for someone, I just don't know who. I thought I would make it for our musician in the family, but I don't know if he plays piano or if he even likes piano. I don't know. These little sides here are driving me crazy. Oh, I just painted my nails too. No, you stay there. 
times in some way. Get off the extra. Okay. I always seem to make my corners too too big. Ah, don't get stuck. Squish it this way. I'm stuck to that. Okay, that looks good. And dab a little bit in here. Don't ever paint your nails after watching your team play football and lose. If you're competitive like me, your hands tend to shake and you get a little upset and angry. So, yeah. My nails are not too happy with me right now. Come on, little buddy. You can do it. There you go. So yeah, my team lost three points. Three flipping points. Not have that interception at the at the end of the game. We probably could have made a comeback. Whatever. On to next week. The thing is that it was a divisional game, so that kind of sucks. Oh, snap. I just got my white nail polish stuck in there. Okay. okay stop touching it. Stop touching it. <laughs> Hang out. Okay. Got all my nail polish specs off. You guys don't want that. And I'm going to do this one here. Yep. Oh, stinker bottle. Let's try to get it to stand up. I'm not talking enough. Don't you hate it when that happens? And you're not sure if you're talking enough or you're talking too much? I usually end up finding out that I talk too much. About I don't even know what. I don't know what made me decide to do Halloween. I think it's because I had the um, close to my heart kit sitting there. I obviously need to use it. And I don't think we took pictures of the kids in Halloween um, last year off. So I don't have um, pictures to use with it like I'd planned, but I purchased it, obviously. So that was kind of a bummer. But I think I'm going to get this year's, and then this year I'll remember to take pictures. And... Set it with the glue first. And stick it now. No, he went crooked. Why would you do that? That's not very nice. So here's where my OCD kicks in. Please be gentle. Oh, please be gentle. Nice and easy. Come on, little buddy, you can do it. Okay. Let's try that again. Add some more tape. I don't know what it is. I don't trust double-sided double sticky tape after I've already stuck it down. So I always end up going back and putting more on. Does anybody else do that? Am I just weird for doing that? That is the bonus to having the thinner tape. You have a better chance of being able to rip it off without doing too much damage. Okay. So I take that down again. Turn this off. 
Fresh start. And the glue. I think the worst part is, is that I love using black, just can't see very well with it. Uh uh uh, don't stick it. There we go. That's much better. Thank you. Okay. And then back page. I don't know if I'm going to add any like major like book flaps and all that sort of stuff to this one. I think I might just want to keep it simple. Thinking about doing December dailies, which I don't do them, but I'm thinking about making some to sell. I got to do something, guys. Christmas is coming. wires stuck on my foot. Okay. Um, glue. I had to think of what I was doing. See, I brain fart just that fast. Isn't that ridiculous? Drives me crazy. Now, this way. And ah, 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 don't do it. I was trying to bring it closer. Ah, why would you do that? Don't do it. Don't do it. Be nice. Just right side down. Right side down. And out. Okay. I always get nervous laying down pages. Like I sweat. It's terrible. <laughs> okay. So I think that's super cute so far. So the curly ruffle here. Kind of got a little flattened gauze behind it. And it's movable and it's a machine. You can play with it. Rosettes on the side. Pumpkin on the back so you can write your dates or whatever. October 31st to start it and glad to be glad to live in a world where there are Octobers. Oh, sorry. I'm blinding you. It's kind of a bronze color, bronze copper color. So yeah. Okay. I think I'm going to stop there and then I'll come back and we'll do the inside pages because that took 34 minutes because I'm slow and I like it. All right. I will see you guys in a bit and yeah, we'll do the pages. Bye for now.